person say that, you know, in the Cayman Islands back then, most of the men were out to sea and that's why the women ended up sort of running the country. Can you give us your view of that? Is, was that really the case? I am the kind of person that I don't let people get me down. To be very honest, if I believe I can do it, I'm going to do it and I'm going to give it my best shot. And that is exactly how I live my life. I, w I was involved, I'd say very briefly, I was involved in Vision 2008 specifically with the IT strategy, mm -hmm. just to give some credence to what you said, if you needed it. And I remember, you know, different things coming along, like liberalization of telecommunications, the whole issue of ICTA, you know, so there were some things that had been done. But that, that has contributed in general to strong Cayman women, because Cayman has a lot of strong women. Mm -hmm. And they might not be uh, as out in the public as I am or as involved in as many things as I used to be. I think sometimes we say, you know, I, I love the person. I mean, not, not every day I may, I may not like them every I day. Might, you might like them every day, but, <laughs> but love is in that thing. The okay, challenges man, yeah. was that in Cayman, I was a big fish in a mm -hmm. small pond. And in Canada, I was a very small fish in a very big pond. It was a people's plan. Yep. The people believed in it. Two thousand people took part in vision and put together a 10-year plan for this country. I said if we had implemented it,